Hi, this is Paula J, uh, and welcome to Cybersecurity Talk. Uh, this is a series of uh, content interviews where I am interviewing uh, personas, uh, the, the best people in IT security and infrastructure. And today uh, I got with me Sander Berkover. Yeah. Nice Dutch pronunciation right there. Thank you so much. I'll try mine. Now just okay, <laughs> next maybe after the interview. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to the interview and uh, just a few words about uh, Sander. Uh, basically, you are an expert in Active Directory and Azure AD and uh, everything that has has uh, is related with Active Directory including the commissioning, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do stuff with Active Directory. Absolutely. You are also an MVP. Yes, yes. I've been MVP for nine years now. Yeah. Perfect. And you're very active on social media and you've got a blog space in the Dear Team. Yes. Yeah. Can Dear you share? Team.com. Yeah. Okay. DearTeam.com. Yes. Perfect. And uh, Twitter handle? And my Twitter handle is just my name without a space. So that's Sander Berkauer. Awesome. You, you, uh, you see how that matches up? Yeah. It's when we both pronounce it? Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. It was the same. It was, yeah, the, it the, was same. the same. Okay, cool, cool. So I've got uh, difficult questions for you, Sander. Today. All right, yeah? try me. W one of those questions is, uh, what Active Directory is safer? Because everybody wants to know that. Uh, the one on-prem or in the cloud? Bring it on. Ooh, wow. Uh, okay, so um, what time period are you referring to? Like, like now till five years from now or five years till 10 years from now? Uh, let's say five years, because that's okay, so be quite easy to predict. The yeah. first coming yeah. five years. I think the first five years, Azure AD is going to be the safer cloud, mm -hmm. because it's run by Microsoft, it's run by professionals. Um, it has massive scale mm -hmm. beyond what, what any one of us could comprehend. Um, and on-prem Active Directory is just a, well, hit or miss kind of implementation uh, thing. So if you hit it, then, well, you're probably a large company, large organization, uh, and if you're not, then well, you're probably already on Azure AD. Yeah. So yeah, I think Azure AD is the safer Active Directory, mm -hmm. although I, I always like to say that Azure Active Directory is Azure, but not Active Directory, but okay, let's say Azure Active Directory is the safer Active Directory. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so in the next 10 years, I guess we're going to be without the regular Active Directory on-prem, or what do you think? Is, um, is, there, is it an option in general? Yeah, I feel it's an option in general. Yeah, definitely, because there's already companies that don't have on-prem Active Directory. And, you know, if you, if you start a company today, then I don't think you'd start off with a domain controller or an exchange server on-prem or anything like that. Yes. Just just purchase five Office 365 licenses, be done with it. Yeah, it's it's so easy to set it up in a cloud, right? Yes, it it's... <laughs> Perhaps even too easy. Too easy yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I, I, I visit a lot of customers, of course, mm -hmm. um, for my for my work. And what I see is that some organizations have embraced Office 365, even use Intune. And one of the first questions that I ask them is, you know what? How do you manage your Azure Active Directory? Mm -hmm. And even at some larger organizations, they would say, how do we manage our what? What was that? Like Azure what? What? Yeah. So, so what you see is that Microsoft has gone to great length, mm. sort of, sort of hide that Office 365 leverages Azure Active Directory as its identity provider, and even if you if you look at Azure AD Connect and you set up a relying party trust, yeah. what you see is that the relying party trust is Office 365 identity platform and not just Azure Active Directory. Yeah, it sounds very proudly. Yeah. It's, it yeah. sounds like it's... Yeah, uh, let's name it like the money maker it is. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And yeah. it sounds like a title for the future, which could indicate what's going to happen, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, okay. But isn't it disturbing in general that when you've got Office 365 or in general Azure ID, um, there's not m that many operations that you can do from the security perspective as you normally do on-prem. Isn't it th th like this? Like oh, wow. in the regular AD, you've got like row separation, the management, you know exactly what's happening over there. And in Azure AD, uh, let's maybe even stick to this. Do you have the same? Like, can you do the same types of procedures as normally on-prem? Yeah, so, so I heard you say uh, segregation of duties, of course, and yeah. management and auditing and stuff like that. Mm. You can all do that. Yeah. No, there's there's... If you look at Azure and Azure as a whole, then you'd see that there's role-based access control, RBAC, mm -hmm. based on Azure AD. Mm -hmm. There's not much RBAC in Azure AD today, mm -hmm. but you've got global admins, user admins, 
yeah. stuff like that. Uh, and it's silly sometimes because you need global admin rights for just very tiny settings sometimes. Um, there's, there's definitely management. I mean, today Azure has two portals. No, there's loads to manage, obviously then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, and monitoring, um, it's funny because uh, if you look at the Graph API, mm -hmm. and of course, um, as IT pros, we say, you know, the Graph API, you can use that um, to get information out of your Active Directory, but the Graph API is used by everything to communicate to Azure AD. So yeah. Azure AD Connect and Azure AD PowerShell and just the list goes on and on. But you can also use that and you can uh, make an application, mm -hmm. application in Azure AD as a directory reader yeah. and tell it, you know what, just dump all the auditing information in a Into storage account. Yeah. In a storage mm -hmm. account, actually. Mm -hmm. And then from that, sorry, from that storage account, what mm -hmm. you do is that you, um, you talk to it uh -huh. with invoke-web request okay. and you get that auditing information out of that. Okay. So what the larger companies are doing right now is mm -hmm. they're defining a management style where they want one, uh, one management pane mm -hmm. for both on-prem and the cloud. Yeah, okay. That, 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 that definitely explains a lot yeah. about how this is done and so on. Okay, cool. So two questions that are from the outside of the subject. Yeah. All right. Uh, one's going to be like, if you're going to see like a person that wants to be like you, and be like, oh, I want to be so smart like this guy is, and so on. Like, what this person should do? All right. So first of all, don't be like me. <laughs> <laughs> really, you don't want to. I'm not sure it's a, good, it's a good recommendation. Like, you know, so many things about ID. Yeah, yeah. But I also do stupid stuff. But um, <laughs> obviously, everyone does. Um, and the other thing is, if you really want to um, do stuff with Azure AD, mm -hmm. just begin. Okay, so they need to sign up for the subscription. Yeah, just sign and so up, on. and 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 Raymond and I and Raymond and I have some uh, some recommendations in our uh, in our presentation as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just follow them. Just sign up, uh, verify your DNS domain names, mm -hmm. and just go go go. Yeah, you can't really mess up an Azure AD tenant. So it's too simple. Yeah, it's good to start. Definitely, it's good to start. That was it's the question. It's good to start. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Just like Active Directory. Yeah, but what it's like you know you, you explain it to beginners. You know, it's like a tree mm -hmm. upside down. You have the, the, the branches and the organizational units, and oh yeah, that's a good analogy, and you go with that. Okay. And Azure AD, yeah, it's a cloud, and it's more cloud, and and you go with it, and you go with it. Okay, <laughs> cool. And what about like someone being super advanced? Like I'm the uh, super advanced person that works in the big enterprise and that this person wants to be better in, in the, all the services that, that, that they've got. Uh, should they reconsider some integration maybe, like with on-prem services, uh, with the cloud services, uh, to use Azure AD in some areas? What do you think? What would you recommend? Um, well, I think that um, that all depends on, uh, on the organization and uh, their strategy and their roadmap and where they want to be in a couple of years. But the, the biggest thing that you need to do in, um, in cloud in general, I think, mm -hmm. if you look at integration and um, infrastructure as code and stuff like that, is don't assume. Okay. So if you, if you think that Azure works in a certain way, um, just measure it, measure it again, measure it again. Look under the cover, look what it does, look into the code of the product or whatever, then uh, make an informed decision on how to handle that. I come across many ID pros today that just assume that a product works um, a certain way mm -hmm. because, I don't know, Active Directory always does that or uh, identity products always does that, do mm -hmm. that. But sometimes they just don't work that way in, in, Active, in Azure Active Directory. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing mm -hmm. because you don't want to, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny situation. Yeah, so. So today, Active Directory, well, this year, Active Directory is 20 years old. Yeah. So what will Azure AD look like in 20 years? Well, what do you think? Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be there, maybe just this, not uh, no longer Active Directory that we got on prem, yeah? Just Azure Identity, yeah. Yeah, like g getting more and more advanced and uh, collecting more and more information about us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, probably, yeah. But what you see is that 
Microsoft had to reset mm -hmm. Azure Infrastructure as a Service. Yeah. Because they made some um, some naive choices, perhaps. Okay. Some choices that they couldn't uh, use yeah. further on the road. Mm -hmm. um, I just hope we don't have to do that with Azure Active Directory. Or if we have to do that, mm -hmm. that it's a seamless experience. And we don't have to actually do many of the nasty pruning and grafting and takeovers and stuff like that that we have to do now with Active Directory. Yeah, okay, cool. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a great advice. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, okay, guys, so summarizing, uh, Sander was talking about uh, Azure Active Directory and all the pros and cons for it, or actually, um, it, well, m more of the things that we have discussed are definitely in plus over there. And uh, we have discussed the future of Azure AD and uh, Active Directory also on premise. Uh, so how it's going to be potentially in time, because everything indicates that uh, we are going into the direction of the cloud. Yes. and that we should definitely look into it because it's very easy. Uh, so the only thing you need to do is to sign up for it and then set it up. If you want to have it more advanced, of course, you need to spend more time on it. But uh, starting with it isn't that bad. And uh, it's, it's accessible for everybody because it's in the cloud. That's the whole benefit of it. Yeah, cool. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for, you. for being with me. It was an absolute pleasure. Uh, I hope that uh, guys also out there liked it because uh, uh, you, you shared uh, a lot of good tips about how to um, set Azure AD up and so on. And um, yep, so, so guys, thank you so much for listening and uh, make sure that if you're gonna have some questions, you're gonna post them in the comment section below. And um, we'll we are make sure to ignore them. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> we are there for you, <laughs> we are there for you, and uh, absolutely make sure that you're gonna uh, watch the video, uh, click on the on the uh, link uh, to, to get to the blog post where we are describing the whole thing, and uh, we are uh, looking forward to see you again on our interview series, yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.